question is from DH McKay09. What's the deal with milks? Are well, almond, what's the deal? <laughs> are almond and soy milk more or less processed than regular dairy? You, you know what? So you want to talk about marketing? <laughs> Brilliant marketing. <laughs> okay. I don't even understand this question. For, <laughs> what's the deal with what are the deal with them? And in, in like all milks? Yeah, almond yeah. milk, soy milk, yeah. uh, uh, coconut milk. Yeah, like all- are they more or less processed? So, so first off, this makes me laugh because you want to talk about the brilliance of marketing. <laughs> There's only one milk. Okay, those are the yeah. kind, the kind that comes from animals: cow yeah. milk, goat milk, and camel milk. Whatever it comes from There's animals. There's no nut teats. Okay, so uh, soy and almond. Uh, milk. It's telling you just like almond juice. They're juices. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. that's exactly what yeah, they are. Yeah, it's yeah. a juice. They're not milks. Now they call them milks because it makes them more palatable, right? Imagine if you went to the store and you bought almond soy juice. milk or almond juice. You'd be like, Ugh. I mean, soy juice or almond juice doesn't sound as palatable. Plus, they're white. They kind of. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to penetrate into a staple market by labeling something milk, with this, which is brilliant. Now, I actually fun- never even thought about this. It's oh. funny. This is a funny question that Nut we're even frost. going here, oh, yeah. but it's so true. <laughs> but yeah. it's totally, right? Now, uh, processed, well, okay, <laughs> processed refers to all the steps it takes between taking something yeah. from its what, its initial form to your plate or whatever. Okay, uh, milk a cow. Technically, if it's a healthy cow and everything, you could just Drink the milk uh, right there. Yeah. Almonds and soy, there's a there's a there's more of a process that goes in. Now they're minimally processed. They can be minimally processed, but they're still processed. And oftentimes there's more things added to them to make to make them more uh, nutritious. Um, if you can tolerate dairy, uh, dairy dairy's fine. In fact, it's actually can be quite healthy, especially if it's from good sources. Um, but I mean. I feel like you should address this whole processed conversation too. It reminds me of the post on our forum just recently too. Um, just we, it's almost impossible today uh, to eat a diet and not get some somewhat of processed food in there. Well, and I know yeah. we've talked about it as you know um, one, one of the major contributors to the obesity epidemic. Right, and and I think because of that, I think uh, I I would never want our audience to think that like I go through my day and I don't have anything that's processed like it's just it's part of it's part of it now do i target yeah. whole natural foods for a majority of what i consume absolutely am i always leave? but i'm also not going to fret over my almond milk being yeah. processed or I'm not. not a hippie nazi yeah right. well technically processed everything Which that's a in weird your gro- combo yeah technically everything in your grocery store is processed technically even a piece of steak um, unless you, see, I don't know if you've ever seen a piece of steak running around outside. <laughs> I want uh, steak milk. Yeah, look at the, the fact that it's been cut um, and placed in a package and covered, you know, with plastic so you can look at it and it looks nice. Yeah, and the goal is less processed, right. right? Now, here's the deal with processed food: be aware of its impact on your body and the main potential detriment of processed. By the way, there's a lot of benefits to processed food. Also, I want to be very clear: um, we can feed more people; doesn't go bad as easily. It's an easy way to deliver nutrition to people, uh, especially around the world, um, you know, whole natural foods tend to go bad. So if we're trying to ship food to other countries or whatever, difficult to do because by the time it gets there, it's, it's not good anymore. We actually waste more food, uh, when, when it's unprocessed as well. So there's some benefits, but here's some of the potential detriments. They make you eat more. They're designed to make you eat more. Does that mean you should be like afraid of them? No, be aware. Just be aware. Look, I'm aware. I, I drink alcohol sometimes. There's alcoholics out there. I know that. I know there's potential detriments to it, but I drink it sometimes. You know, um, I do lots of. Sometimes I eat candy as well. I think we live in the real world, and real balance means being aware of these things and being able to navigate your life in a relatively healthy, stress-free way. There's a lot of fitness, you know, lunatics, fitness enthusiasts that are they're fanatics mm-hmm. who they they're, they're so afraid of everything. They they avoid everything in the in the pursuit of becoming healthier. And in reality, their, the health is being uh, harmed because of their stress, um, their rigidity, and the fact that they, 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 they sacrifice the relationships with people around them. They don't go places because they're afraid of the food and the whatever that's there. We live in the real world. Uh, you know, process, it, it's okay, but just you know, know what, it, what you're dealing with and make smart decisions. But as far as milks are concerned, if you can tolerate dairy – there is no milk that's better than than dairy. None nutrient of the, wise, nutrient yeah. wise, it's 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 incredible. It's been a staple in for for humans in some regions for thousands of years. Um, the the full fat, by the way, full fat, organic. If you can find 
uh, raw, non-homogenized from good, well-sourced cows. Boy, that stuff's got some incredible it helped uh, Genghis Khan help uh, benefit take over China. That's right? a good. That's a good point. They yeah. did. They yep. were able to travel with that and milk their their animals and made them strong as shit. Now, that's what, always my argument for cheese. Uh, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Genghis Khan did it. 